Denuvo is a DRM that has become pervasive in PC gaming among big-budget publishers and independent developers alike, leading to concerns over its impact on performance in games that use it. A few developers do remove Denuvo after their games are cracked, as was the case with Death Stranding and Monster Hunter World Iceborne, providing an opportunity to compare performance, file sizes and loading times before and after it was removed. Let's begin with Resident Evil 2 a game that arguably should have been tested back in 2019. We did acquire the files a while ago, but never really got around to it because horror isn't my cup of tea. Better late than never, right? All tests were conducted with the same NVIDIA driver and all settings set to their maximum. The Denuvo protected executable weighs in at 362 meg, 309.4% the size of the unprotected EXE, which clocks in at just 117 meg. It looks like Denuvo makes up 67.67% the size of the Resident Evil 2 EXE it's implemented on. The unprotected EXE is 245 megs smaller than the Denuvo protected executable. In other words, the unprotected EXE is just 32.32% the size of the Denuvo protected executable. Is this bloat noticeable during gameplay? The Denuvo protected EXE took 35 seconds to load the main menu. 218.75% as long as the unprotected EXE, which took just 16 seconds. The difference wasn't quite so significant when it came to loading the first mission. The Denuvo protected EXE took 12 seconds to load the game's first sequence, 133.33% as long as the unprotected EXE, which finished loading in just 9 seconds. The difference diminishes further as we move on to performance. All options were maxed except motion blur, which was disabled. There was no improvement in the minimum FPS or 1% low measured by MSI Afterburner, but there was a noticeable difference in the average FPS and 0.1% low. The unprotected EXE averaged 118.3 frames a second, 2.87% more than the Denuvo protected build's average of 115 frames a second. The improvement in 0.1% low FPS is much starker. The unprotected EXE measured a 0.1% low of 26.9 frames, 489.091% the performance of the Denuvo protected build, which measured a 0.1% low of just 5.5 frames a second. Frame rates aren't quite as precise as frame times, which measure how long the game takes to draw a single frame. The longer it takes, the longer you're stuck looking at the same image. How did the two EXEs compare in this metric? The Denuvo protected EXE averaged 8.680047 milliseconds. 2.84% longer than the unprotected executable, which took just 8.440379 milliseconds. The Denuvo EXE's longest stutter lasted 222.813 milliseconds, 5.754% longer than the unprotected EXE, which measured a maximum frame time of 210.689 milliseconds. Let's move on to Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. The Denuvo Protected Executable took 57 seconds to load the main menu on its first run, and 32 seconds on subsequent runs, while the Unprotected EXE took 29 seconds to load the main menu on its first run, and 16 seconds on subsequent runs. In other words, the Denuvo Protected build took almost twice as long to load the main menu as the Unprotected build. The test begins when the player enters the cave, fights slimes and needlers, and ends at the cave exit. The Denuvo Protected Executable took 21 seconds to load this sequence, 127.273% the time it took the unprotected build, which finished loading in at 16.5 seconds. There was a considerably greater improvement in performance. The Denuvo build averaged 92.091 frames a second, with a minimum of 33 frames, while the unprotected build averaged 132.225 frames, with a minimum of 42. The unprotected game averaged 43.581% better than the Denuvo protected build and measured a minimum frames that was 27.273% higher. Do frame times tell a different story? Denuvo averaged 10.8588 milliseconds, 43.58% longer than the unprotected build which took just 7.562894 milliseconds. The Denuvo protected build measured a maximum frame time of 345.805 milliseconds, 19.749% higher than the unprotected build, which measured a maximum of 288.774 milliseconds. Death Stranding had its Denuvo removed in December 2020. Its executable weighed 413 meg before Denuvo was removed and 75.4 meg after the removal. 
The Denuvo EXE was 547.7454% the size of the unprotected EXE, which was 337.6 megs smaller. In other words, the unprotected executable is just 18.2567% the size it used to be when it still carried Denuvo. The EXE lost 81.743% of its size when Denuvo was removed. Did this affect user experience though? The Denuvo executable took 45 seconds to load the main menu on its first run, dropping to 37 seconds on subsequent runs. The unprotected EXE took 35 seconds to load the main menu on its first run and 32 seconds on subsequent runs. The Denuvo protected EXE took 28.571% longer to load the main menu on its first run and 15.625% longer on subsequent runs. The sequence used to test performance was a smart drug delivery mission. Both builds took 73 seconds to load this sequence for the first time. The Denuvo EXE took 24 seconds to load this sequence on subsequent runs, eight times as long as the unprotected build, which took just three seconds on subsequent runs. There was no improvement in 0.1% low and minimum frames. The unprotected build averaged 104.5 frames, 4% better than the Denuvo protected build, which averaged 100 frames. The unprotected build measured a 1% low of 72.6 frames, 20.799% higher than the Denuvo protected build, which measured a 1% low of 60.1 frames. Next is Monster Hunter World Iceborne, a game that had its Denuvo protection removed and consequently lost 481.88 meg. Did this improve the user experience though? The Denuvo build took 76 seconds to load the main menu on its first run, dropping to 65 seconds on subsequent runs while the unprotected build took 25 seconds to load the main menu on its first run and dropped to 22.63 seconds on subsequent runs. In other words, the Denuvo protected build took thrice as long to load the main menu for the first time and 287% the time it took the unprotected build on subsequent runs. The sequence used to test performance was the Glavinous Master Rank 3 Arena Battle and not a standard hunting mission as we wanted to avoid the variance and unpredictability inherent in searching for a monster all over the map. This test compares performance when it matters most, during the actual battle. A cheat was used to ensure the fight wouldn't end prematurely. The test was conducted in single player so nobody else was affected. And forgive the terrible gameplay, I haven't played this game in a long while and I don't remember a thing. The Denuvo EXE took 7 seconds to load the arena, 350% as long as the unprotected build which took just 2 seconds. This is the only game tested on an NVMe SSD, which could explain the rapid loading times. The unprotected EXE measured a minimum of 62 frames, a 14.815% improvement over the Denuvo protected build, which measured a minimum of 54 frames. There was little improvement in average frame rate and frame time, though there was a noticeable difference in the maximum frame time. The Denuvo build's longest stutter lasted 126.239 milliseconds, 420.867% as long as the unprotected build, which measured a maximum frame time of just 29.995 milliseconds. This is the hardware used in these tests. This might not seem like an ideal setup to benchmark a DRM's impact, but regrettably there was nothing else. My Ryzen's pins broke when its Wraith Prism Caller was detached, which left it dead beyond repair. This was the only available replacement at the time. And that concludes this analysis of Denuvo's impact on performance and loading times. And now a brief update on the channel. Due to ongoing issues, upload frequency will be noticeably decreased. If you held off on ringing the bell for fear of notification spam, this channel won't contribute to the problem so you might want to reconsider. If you'd like to watch more content like this, please subscribe, press the bell and select all. YouTube won't notify you of new uploads unless you select all. If you like this video, please press the like button and share it too.